So the things that you're going to need to make your tempura for your garfish is you'll need one egg yolk, one cup of ice cold sparkling water, the colder the better. I like to put mine in the freezer for an hour or two before I use it. Uh, an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a cup of cornstarch or corn flour, and three quarters of a cup of rice flour. I also either use peanut oil, canola oil, or even vegetable oil to be cooking it in. Okay, so we're going to be making our tempura batter for our garfish. This tempura batter is fantastic on anything like your calamari and squid as well. Um, it's really, really nice. There's that light flaky flavour, not too thick. So the first thing we need to do is um, get the dry ingredients and put them all in together. So we need three quarters of a cup of the rice, rice flour. Baking soda, a bit of the and we also need a quarter of a cup of the corn flour and corn starch. Put all the dry ingredients together to start with. Just mix all that up. And then right before we decide to cook the garfish, we will get the yolk out of the egg, put it into the mixer, put the ice cold water, uh, sparkling mineral water in together, mix it together, and we'll put it all together in the, uh, in the bowl shortly. Okay, so we've got our dry ingredients in there, we've got our pinch of bicarb soda, a little bit of salt, our rice flour and also our corn flour. So now we've got to add the wet stuff. So we need the yolk, just the yolk of one egg. One cup of icy cold mineral water. I put some mineral water in a different one and just got it out. Still got some ice in it. So we get about one cup of that. Add that to our egg. Give it a good mix up. white and frothy. It's all mixed. So we're now going to add that to our dry mix and then stir that up. Also like to add a little bit of pepper, just a little bit, a little bit of extra flavour. And that's ready for us to start cooking our garfish now. Okay, so we've got our oil nice and hot there. Now with this um, this mixture, you will have to give it a bit of a stir in between uh, batches because uh, it does tend to settle on the bottom. So it's worthwhile just before you put your fish in to give it a quick stir up again. Grab your piece of fish, dunk it in, just watch the splatter. A good coating all over the fish. It's quite runny. It's not a uh, not a thick batter. And 
and there's that one that we did the third easy way with the um, rolling pin. We'll chuck that one in there and see how that one comes out. Don't need to cook it for very long at all. Tap around, make sure they don't stick together. Seconds, not minutes really. Delicious. Okay, just cooking up the second little batch now. Vultures have already come. I can smell it. <laughs> you can smell the uh, tempura garfish cooking, can't you? There we go, pretty simple, delicious to eat. What do you reckon kids? Mm. Pretty good? Yeah. You want to try some? Might as well. What do you reckon? Yeah, good. Pretty good? The tribe's happy. Mm. The tribe's happy. So we're also going to cook some of that garfish tonight. Um, we're just going to turn your normal barbecue into a smoker. Just anything with a hood on it. Uh, you can pick up a little, this is just a smoker box, stainless steel smoker box, holes in the top and the bottom. Pick them up for about $15 at Bunnings. And the wood that I like to put in it is this uh, maple, apple and cherry smoking chips. Good for poultry, pork, fish, all that type of stuff. So basically what you want to do is get some of the chips, soak them for at least sort of half an hour in the water. That just stops them from burning a lot faster. So you want to do is grab a good handful of those, put them into the box, like so. Do it. Close the lid. Put on your grill. I've just got the centre grill going at the moment, and we'll close the hood and let that sort of start to smoke up before we put some fish on it. <laughs> Looks like it's going pretty well. 
had it going for about 20 minutes now. So a good fair bit of um, smoke in here. I've already put on a few bits of chicken. Charge some uh, corn. Smoke as you can see it there, smoking away. The chicken's going along very nicely. That should be about ready very soon. So basically all I'm going to do now So this isn't going to take very long at all. Just those few little bits of garfish. Just, just smoke them. A bit of salt and pepper. Skin side down, straight on the pan there. On the grill. They won't take long to cook at all. Just going to give them a bit of a smoky flavour. A couple of minutes. This is our uh, butterfly one that we did earlier today. Skin side down. Close that, you can see the smoke coming out of that little smoker box. Gives it some really nice flavour. Okay, so they've been in there probably not even five minutes now. And uh, they're ready to come off. Smoky flavour that you get through them is just fantastic with that uh, little smoker box. You don't need to go out and buy the offset smoker or anything like that. Go down to Bunnings, grab yourself one of those boxes for 15 bucks and uh, a packet of chips for about $10. And um, you can get out there and uh, smoke up not just your fish, but chicken. I cooked a uh, lamb roast on here last night and it was absolutely fantastic. It almost tasted like pork. So, get out there, have a go guys. Catch your fish and um, cook it up nice for the family. Catch you out in the water soon.